everybody. So today is moving day. Um, I have makeup on because uh, we did family pictures this morning. Uh, and then uh, we went out to eat at Runza because there isn't a Runza in South Dakota. And then we hit the road. And we are now about an hour away from our new house. It's exciting. Uh, tonight we are going to be staying at my parents' house, which is 40 minutes away from our new house, just because uh, it'll be easier for the babies to like stay at a place that they kind of know, and it's not a mess. And so I am excited. Right now we're sitting at a gas station, uh, waiting for Jared to catch up, because uh, I can't go into a gas station on my own uh, without bringing the babies in. Uh, the babies need some milk, and I can't leave him in the van, obviously. I can't leave him alone. Um, so, he's only like 10 minutes away. So, I thought I would take this time to catch you guys up. So, I am hoping, if I remember, as tonight, I will give you a tour of the new house. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen pictures, um, but I need to see it to kind of get a better layout on where we're going to be putting furniture and such. So, you will get a tour of the new house. Tomorrow we plan to have my sister babysit the babies all day and then Jareth and I are going to get new phones because uh, where we live AT&T has, um, has much better cell reception and service and Verizon doesn't and that's what we're on is Verizon and Nebraska doesn't have AT&T so we have to get new phones tomorrow so that we're able to use them in our house and then we're also planning to unpack and of course we're not going to get all unpacked tomorrow but at least get the majority of it figured out into good um, places so that Jareth uh, will be good to go because I think he's leaving sun tomorrow night Sunday or Monday to go back because he has to work so at least get the house somewhat situated uh, so that the babies and I are good. Um, Jareth won't be back up to visit until I think around Thanksgiving, so about two or three weeks. <sighs> So we have made it to our new house. It's a rental house and I thought I'd give you guys a tour. We have been here for a week now uh, and it's been crazy. Uh, please excuse all the messes. Uh, we're still unpacking and it's just me and the babies here as you can see. Yeah. Alright, so I'll give you a tour from outside. This house is a little bit of a maze with all the doors and all the closets. It's a house that was built in the 1800s. I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but it's old. <laughs> Say hi. The crazy hair. All right, let's start this tour off. Okay, so here's the front of the house. <laughs> The dog's right there. And then we have a wraparound porch. Uh, this is the gate. This opens too. So here's the wraparound. And there's another door. And then here's the backyard, I suppose. Side yard. Lovely old door. Okay. So 
so this is our living room setup. We had some trouble with layouts because of the old house. There's the one vent for air to go in and then the other vent for air to go out, which is in the back there. So this was just a quick setup and I am gonna get a bigger rug and it goes into the dining room, which our table's not big enough to take up the whole room. Yeah. No. So it's also the office, so to speak, and the playroom. And then that's where that other door from the wraparound. Okay, so. And then this is pocket doors that actually work. Which is beautiful. So it's the front door and here is a room it is going to be the guest room and right now it's my room so that the babies and I are all on one floor right now until Jareth moves in so it is a mess because I'm still unpacking boxes and trying to figure out where to put stuff and then here is the closet. It's a shared closet. So we got that mess there and it goes all the way back there. And then this is the future office, the twins' room right now. So we got Warren's crib and then Rory's crib and we got a new rug. Cause lots of wood floors here. I would take this panel out, but it's a rental house. Okay, so this goes to the stairs, and then this door goes out eventually to the kitchen. And here's the downstairs bathroom with the tub for the babies. Here is my kitchen. The first couple of nights, even though I have all this counter space, I still was using the cooktop that wasn't on as a counter space. So clearly this is the biggest kitchen we've had. And I was overwhelmed on trying, there's so much storage. Um, and then here, we actually have a pantry, and that's why I was so overwhelmed, because I've never had a pantry. And these open, there's three, and then there's drawers. So this is just, right now, I just kind of threw what's in the pantry goes in the pantry, and I'll figure it out later. There's even an outlet here, so I can have this stuff plugged in if I want, I guess. But that's my pantry, and I love it. Um, this house does have foundation issues. It does slope down here pretty drastic. Uh, so if we were to buy this house, that'd be something we have to consider about. We're not sure. This door goes downstairs into the basement. This goes to the dining room and then that door goes to the stairs and I'll show you here in a bit. How are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And then here goes to the back porch. I locked myself out the other night because of this thing. I didn't have it set right so it always locked and I locked myself out the other night. So that was fun getting back in. So here's the back porch. And there's the ugly brick. Um, and then all the boxes. And then this just goes to the backyard. 
And then we have that as a two car garage. And then we also have a shed out in the back. I'll show you here. But here's where our car, there's two car parking there. And there's a shed right there too. And that's the cellar door I had to get in the house in the dark on my own. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, so that is the downstairs off to upstairs. Okay, so this is the stairs that go up. It's kind of dark in here. And then this is the door that goes into the twins' room. So upstairs we go. This weird step that always messes me up. Okay, up here it's a little weird. So here is the opening to one side. This is a closet. That's a closet. And then here's the other side. So here's our upstairs bathroom. And then here is the little hallway. So over here goes to the other side of the stairs we were just at. And then they have the washer dryer up here. And here's another closet. This is our room, the master room. There's only two outlets I counted. These are really cool old windows I've never seen because they open out here. They swing out this way instead of going up and down. So that's pretty cool. And then we have our own giant closet. So here's a storage closet. I don't, we're never gonna need a storage unit. They're all like this. And then there's one closet that kind of wraps around a little bit more back there. Um, but there's a closet everywhere, I swear. Okay, so back in the hall, this will be the twins' room. It's a good sized room. Um, I'm contemplating about having a crib here and then a crib here because they don't really need to play up here. And if they do want to play, they can play out where the laundry units are. Um, just because I can't put a crib over that. So, I don't know. <laughs> and then they have their own closet. <clears throat> Which I don't know if this is the one that... Oh yeah, so this is the one that wraps around. Back here. Oh, there's the doors. Oh, the tail chair. So one thing I've noticed is that in the kitchen where the baby gate is, it was like a, um, a swinging door. So I wonder if one of these is a swinging door. And then, um, of course, the door here that goes to the bathroom down there is a crappy door. <laughs> Not an old door. So I'm wondering if one of those was supposed to go there. And then there's a door missing in the, the room downstairs, the babies that go into the closet. Um, but that is the house. Peekaboo! What are you doing? So the babies get a lot of room to play. A lot. A lot. And then this window looks out the backyard. 
So the babies like to hide in the curtains. And then that window is the porch, back porch. Yep. So that's our house. Do you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. oh. We had some strawberry toaster strudel. So you guys are extra sticky. No, you're not? You didn't make a mess? What's on your face? Not a mess? Yeah. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. I think it helped uh, to have the rooms already designated what they are because when I was looking at videos of the house from Jareth when it was completely empty, it was so chaotic and it was too much of a maze and I couldn't figure out where, where was what. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.